Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be ranking and sharing our opinions about Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. Wow, uh, Sammy lounges on camera. Always lounging. You're lounging, dude. You look fat. I man. look fat, but you were fat in the last one because you had Reese's Hell peanut yeah, butter cups. Hell yeah. You're just jealous because you didn't have one. I kind of was. Yeah, I know you were. But I had hot Cheetos, and that was pretty bomb. Anyway, we're going to list all of our mazes, talk a little bit about the event, and <laughs> list the scare zones. Uh, and there's no point in listening to shows because none of us like the. Just felt comfortable. <laughs> none of us like the jab walk. I'll put a pillow between us that way you don't get uncomfortable. If I can get one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we are. Jab walking's best show of all time. No. All right, there we go. No. Uh, we we miss you, Bill and Ted. All right. Even though I never saw Bill and Ted, we miss you. Uh, number, number 10. 10 for you. All right, let's look each other deep in the eyes and say together, Stranger, Stranger Things. things. <laughs> yep, number 10 is going. Did you really put Stranger Things in number 10? Oh, hell yeah, I put Stranger Things oh, in number nice. 10. Oh, nice. Sorry, Walking Dead. You actually get a little love this season. Stranger Things was horrible. I'm just going to start off. I, I wouldn't even, I would just, I wouldn't even say horrible. It was underwhelming. Oh, my God, dude. I was so disappointed. Um,. With it, I mean, it looks you like had a sound stage. Use it. Yeah, I mean, the first season was phenomenal, and then the second season was just like, what did you guys do? Like, you guys had a fucking like. I, I get it. The second season isn't is, the best. It's it's. But the still, first season and third season are fantastic. The second season not the best. However, but there's still a lot to work with in the yeah, second season. Yeah, it's not just Will. It's not. Like, they could have literally included the freaking moment where Eleven's trying to close the portal. Yeah. Like, that's a major part of season yeah, two. Yeah, if they would have had that, I think it would have been a little bit higher on my list. Yeah, dude. The portal closing, we would have saw more of the hell. What about, like, Will in the fucking, in the in the scene where he's, like, in the field possessed? Like, yeah. that would have been cool to see. Mm-hmm. Um... Going so to the much school? To, what about, yeah, like, them fighting the school bus? Remember, yeah. like, freaking Steve and... and and Dustin in the school yeah, bus, like yeah. that would have been cool to like imagine walking through the bus and then like you can hear like the bus shaking or something like that. Or, so cool. Or Phil is shaking. Like there's so much they could have worked with, and I was just so disappointed. With yeah. That. Uh, with that being said, number nine, The Walking Dead. King uh, Dead. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> just King Dead. King Dead. The Walking Dead, more dead than ever, more zombies than ever. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, I had a bad run through of it, but it you was did. Cool. You did have a bad run through of it. I will be honest, because there's usually more uh, mm. scare actors in yeah. there. Um, but I mean, Walking Dead's Walking Dead. If you guys been through it during the day, it's the same shit at night. Yeah. Um, he just. I think we walked through it like pretty late at night too. Yeah, it's pretty. And it might. It might have been during like their last break, but there wasn't very many zombies through it. The when we yeah. walked through it, uh, and that was his first time going through it as well. So. It was pretty cool though. I enjoyed it. I had an enjoyable experience with it, and I. With you telling me that I didn't get the best experience, I want to go through it again. Yeah. I mean, you got to go through it. Like, even during the day, like, it's pretty cool. To go through. Yeah. And I really like the queue line. The queue line was really cool, obviously, because it is there permanently. Yeah. So it's like uh, taking you, it's kind of like taking you through the seasons real Yeah. Quick. And I've never seen The Walking Dead, to be to be completely honest. But it was just really cool. So you know nothing then. I used to know Negan. I've seen the Negan bat scene. Like, I think that's the only thing I ever Negan's saw. Negan's fucking great. <laughs> when he beats the guy's head off. Yeah, Negan's great. Yeah, Negan's seen that. Great. That was brutal. Um, and that was only because of Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, you know, you know when they have they did a Saturday Night Live skit, and so I watched the actual With Dave Chappelle, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, so how I actually watched the scene. That's right. Um, number eight. Number eight. All right. This is where we're probably going to differ. So House of a Thousand Corpses. Actually, no, we don't differ. House of a Thousand Corpses. The first three are going to be... I don't even have my list open and I already know it. House of a Thousand Corpses for me only because, like, I went through the one in 2011. It was great. Fantastic. Especially where it was. Yeah. Was very big and it got through a lot of the major scenes. It was really disappointed in this one though it was it started strong yeah it definitely really starts strong and then once you got in the firefly house like after the firefly house scene yeah it like went downhill from there yeah it definitely did i mean there's so many black walls there was one scene where like otis is hiding and like 
a black wall room, and he was just like... However, I will say this, the characters in that maze always interacted with me, especially because yeah. I was fresh off watching Three from Hell. And Free the Three, bro. And Free the Three is what I would always yell at Baby and Otis, and they would always fucking react back, which would be really cool. And, you know, Run, Rabbit, Run. Run, Rabbit, Run was always a favorite, too. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I think I think what, like, saved it for me this season was the fact that, like, uh, Sid Haig actually died. Oh, so, yeah. like, going through it was always, like, a good little memorial for him. Yeah. Because um, there was, like, the whole freaking... Start of the maze is all Captain Spaulding. Oh, of course. So it was always cool to see like a little good little Sid Haig tribute right there in person, okay. which I thought was cool. Um, but yeah, I think my only complaint with it was the black walls. Yeah, the black walls. And plus, it was in an area like if you if yeah, you the water cube was kind of small. If you yeah, if you went in 2011, like when they used to do it when they still had Terminator there. Yeah. I mean that queue was just big, so they fit everything from the movie in there. Plus, yeah. they had less mazes, so more of a budget. Yeah. Um, and it was in. I think the only downside is it was in 3D. If it wouldn't have been in 3D, it would have been a lot cooler still. Yeah, I just felt because it was such a small area and because of the black walls compared to the other mazes. It, yeah. I mean, you have the other two below it that yeah. are there for a reason. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, that's why House of Thousand Forces is an 8 for me. Uh, number 7. I'm going to go with Creepshow. Oh, wow. Creep show. Do tell. Do tell. Uh, it was a great maze. I enjoyed all of the back lot. A lot. Only part bad part about the back lot? The hike. However <laughs> Especially if you're going with fucking T L E V and then yeah. go <laughs> back to the back lot all the way to the front. You heard back it here, T L E V. We hated <laughs> walking back and forth with you guys. Yeah, we'll do it again. I love you guys so much. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll do it again if you want. Wow. But like I think these these top seven mazes, Bon Appetit, Bon Appetit, very good. Uh, but Creepshow, I think, I love the facade. I just craved more from the maze. Like the maze was great, but I wanted more. I, I wanted it to be a little bit longer, and I wanted a little bit more of each scene. I still haven't seen the new Creepshow show. Yet. I still haven't seen the new Creepshow either. I gotta watch it. But I, I felt like it was always just like kind of like two or three rooms per episode. Um, and I just wanted more expansion and more actor interaction. Well, when they're doing like four or five episodes. Yeah, I know. I get that. I that's get that. Reasonable for. I, I get that. I get that. That's the part that makes it reasonable. But they could have cut back a scene and made it a little bit longer, more interaction. And I feel like a lot of the scares were kind of just like drop wall come out of wall light effect yeah number f seven yeah seven <laughs> seven for me is gonna go to holidays in hell okay um the music was great i like the there's a lot of times where like when me and tim would walk through it it'd be like a turn up scene like yeah, every time every time it, for some reason every time we walked through that maze it was always me and tim yeah like and so like it was always just a turn up for us but um Especially going through the Halloween section. However, it is something I've already seen in the scare zone. Yeah. And all they did in the maze was put a little extra detail into it. Yeah. For, you know, maze purposes. But, I mean, I liked how he came up with original music for that with Figure. Which Figure did a great job. And Murdy coming up with the lyrics and stuff. For yeah. Like, you know, the, the turkey lurky scene and everything. Turkey lurky's the best. Yeah. Uh, that, that was cool. But, essentially, it was basically the scare zone put into more detail. Um, and that's why it's at number seven for me. However, it was actually a maze from start to finish that actually was like the black walls. Like there wasn't too many. No, and they were, I think the only time they really occurred was like when you're walking like a postcard, postcard or like uh, kind of like a scene change. But yeah, and then the black. I think they used black walls in the Halloween section, but that was good. Well, yeah, it was to, uh, the effect of the floating pumpkin head, which they've used before in yeah. the uh, Halloween maze, which was really cool. Yeah, uh, number six. For me, is gonna be Creepshow. Creepshow. And I liked Creepshow a lot because, like, in the beginning, it wasn't my my favorite maze. Yeah. And I think I, I, if you watch the East versus West that I did with Eddie, I had it lower on the list. But as I went through it more and more throughout the season, I started appreciating it more. Only yeah. because, like, the stories were cool, the effects were cool. Um, I loved that in between each black wall, they utilized it to put like a part of the the, 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 the story they were telling, which was the yeah. comic, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, and I loved my my favorite all time scene in that one. My two uh, favorite scenes were the crate, and I loved the um, the werewolf scene. Yeah, which is I heard it's from the new show, so I got to watch that. Um, luckily for me, thank God, every time we went through it, I avoided the cockroach dark scene, yeah. so I never got to fill it, and I I'm so thankful for that. Um, 
So I would have freaked out if I would have felt it. Yeah, I think you would have. You would have cried. Yeah, I wouldn't have cried. I wouldn't have freaked out. It would have been the same old year. No. In your heart. Yeah, in my heart probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, creep show. Every time I went through it, I mean, more and more, I always appreciated it more. I mean, the garbage. The garbage. That was Murdy doing that is great. Um, and I wanted to steal the uh, the uh, the chart. comic at the at the very end, yeah. which is an actual graphic novel. So that was cool. Number six. Number six for me will be Holidays in Hell, actually. Oh, Flipperoo. Oh. Flipperoonie right there, huh? Uh, once again, Tony mentioned it was a really good maze. Sound design was good. Uh, the, the facade was actually pretty cool, too. Yeah, I did the countdown yeah. New Year's every day. Yeah. I just wasn't a really big fan of like the Christmas scene. It was the best. Like Everything before that was really cool. In my opinion, the Christmas scene... Well, not to the scares, and was kind of just like, okay, nice, Christmas again. Yeah. I thought like they could have made it a little bit more scary, but Turkey Lurkey, my hero. <laughs> Turkey Lurkey. Yeah. And the pumpkin head, really okay. cool. Number five. Number five for me will be, um, if I can look at my list again, will be uh, Ghostbusters. Now I know that I know that's gonna piss off a lot of people. That again. pisses off me. I know it pisses you off, but I really enjoy Ghostbusters a lot, a lot. Although my number five might piss off a lot of people too. Oh, it's fine. I mean, that's what happens. That's why you don't make a raise ranking maze ranking list because you just piss people off. Because oh, that's my favorite maze. How dare yep. you talk bad about it? Nope. Uh, it was really fun. It was very lighthearted. And we had some really good character interactions, especially at the end of the season. Yeah. Because we got to go through it, because I don't know why I remember at one point we went through it by ourselves. Yeah, we basically went through it by ourselves. Which yeah. was great. Which was so much fun. I think fun. that was the, probably the best walkthrough we ever had of that maze. It was so much fun. Yeah. Uh, especially because it was dark already, too. Yeah, it was the time change, so then the, it got darker faster. We yeah. walked through it. We were practically by ourselves. Yeah. And I remember one night, actually, the guy just gave you a card. Yeah, he just gave me a card. I don't know. He was talking to me, and I could not hear him for the life of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if you're watching this I could not hear you for the life of me I think the best thing I ever did to that guy though is I gave him a card yeah and he like I gave him the password and he gave me a card so that was like mind blown yeah so that was cool that was really cool um, it was really fun though and uh, I just I really like these other four just a hair more my number five first Pandora's box ooh um, there was nothing wrong with it I mean it was a good maze and I saw a lot of stuff they used from Black Sabbath 13 yeah. in it, which like freaking gave me like a lot of flashbacks to Black Sabbath, which was yeah. really cool. Um, I like the the whole giant door pre-show thing that opens up yeah, in the really first cool. room, and you got to catch that. That was really cool. Um, and I think it was a great idea for an original maze, and I can't wait to see if Murdy brings more original mages in the, in the I future. I hope he does. Um, because that maze, I, I heard, killed it this year. Yeah. That and holidays were like really good, like top ranked mazes, I guess, for people this year. Yeah. So that's cool, um, and I, I really can't wait to see if he brings back original, more original mazes, um, especially going off Greek mythology, especially yeah. with the whole Pandora's box thing. Like, I love Greek mythology, so Definitely. like walking through that, that was really cool. I mean, you got to see like a lot of the effects of how a modern day Pandora's box would affect the world and everything. Yeah. Know? So that was really cool. Number four. Four. Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. All right. I loved uh, Universal Monsters the first year it happened. Yeah. And then when I found out they were doing Universal Monsters, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, um, I was very excited because not only do you have two of the staple and iconic characters of the Universal Monsters, yeah, Frankenstein. He's our set piece, dude. I love Frankenstein. Yeah. Um, and I even love the Wolfman. I've always loved just werewolves in general, and the Wolfman is what spawned the era of werewolves. Definitely. Um, like, when you bring these two iconic characters together... And, they, you know, they took a couple things from the movie, but for the majority of the maze, it was their own original concept. Yeah. Like, they took, like, the gypsy scene, I think, that was in the movie, and, of course, like, the bar scene. And there's, like, a lot of stuff they just kind of turned and twisted on their own. And, of course, you got the masks for both characters that looked, looked freaky as hell. Really. Yeah, they were really cool. Um, but scenic-wise, it was beautiful. I loved walking through it, and it felt like that old 30s, 40s style thing, which yeah. I, I loved so much. And um, I think my favorite scene, though, of all time in that whole maze is when you're walking through uh, Frankenstein's workshop. And you have Frankenstein's monster on one table and then the Wolfman on the other one. And you got to walk through them. And then it's like a kind of clash right there. 
And then you have uh, Dr. Frankenstein's assistant right there. Um, you know, uh, Igor. E yeah, Igor. He's like right there. And then the burnt out Bride of Frankenstein. It's supposed to be like a post Universal, Universal Monster Monsters, scene yeah. that the, the laboratory's blown up and everything. You have the freaking Bride of Frankenstein burnt to crisp and then Igor right there trying to like kill you and stuff. And, and then you go in the ice scene and everything, which yeah. is really cool. And then the final scene, of course, back into the movie room, which is a throwback to Universal Monsters. Um, they popping up at their respective posters, which is really cool. It was so cool. I mean, I just, that maze was great. And that was another maze that I had pretty low on my list, but then as I went through it more and more, um, it was great. And you can't forget Slash's iconic score for that. Yeah, movie. Like even he, in the queue, the score's pretty sick. Slash did another a really great job with that score again. And I remember for Universal Monsters, it was beautiful. I think the Universal Monsters one is on Spotify. I don't know if the... Well, Frank's I miss a wolf yeah. yeah. But it's such a good maze, and I hope they continue to do the the Universal Monsters uh, mazes. We want to see Creature. Creature. Rain Creature. And you know who else wants to see Creature? Mike. Mike. Fracture Compass. He does. Make Mike happy. Make Mike happy. He did see it in Florida, though. Yeah. Wow. Oh, we want to see The Mummy. The Mummy? No. Uh, we saw The Mummy a little bit in Universal Monsters, but yeah, I would love to see more of The Mummy. Yeah. The Creature versus The Mummy. Oh. <gasps> That'd be really cool. I don't think they made that movie. They probably did though. They did. I don't think they did. That'd be cool though. That'd be cool. Um, I don't know. How, I don't know how that'll work, but <laughs> I do. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they got the mummy that's in freaking like Egypt, and then you got the creature that's in like a fucking lake <laughs> in a lagoon. In a lagoon, yeah. So it's exactly. like I don't know how it's gonna work, but we'll make it work. We'll make everything work. You're number four. Number four for me will be the first of Pandora's box. Okay. Uh, I think you did a really good job describing the maze. I felt like Tim loves that maze a lot. Shout out to Tim from TLEV Media. Um, and so I had a really good experience going through it with him. Mm -hmm. And like he knew like where all of the actors were kind of placed throughout of it. Yeah, he just wanted to get his pictures. So he was getting his pictures, so I got to see like everything. Which really made it a, a really good experience for me. And I, I think that's what really elevates mazes or can bring down a maze is your experience going through it. Yeah. Because unfortunately... Not only does the set design matter, scenic des or the scenic design, the sound design, lighting design, the actors, and everything, but also who you're with also can play a role. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, really elevated it because of that. It was because he had such a good time going through it, so it made me want to have a good time going through it. Definitely. And even when we went through it with the, when you guys were doing the, trying to Trans get scary challenge, it was still fun. Yeah. Uh, and the stilt walkers were That's really what gave fun. me the tiebreaker. Yeah. Thank you, freaking Pandora's box. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So uh, that, it was really fun. It was fun. Number, um, number, number three. three. My number three. Sorry. You're going you're gonna to piss me off right now, aren't you? At least I gave it a top three. Oh, God. But you put it. Just get it over with. It's killing class. You fucking cunt. I know you're going to. If I didn't put it number one, you were going to be mad. If you at least put it like number two, I wouldn't have been mad. It's three. It's number three, though. And you know why. No, do tell. No, no, no. You know why the other two are above it. But it was really fun. Really fun maze. Loved the tent. Loved walking into it. I love... What, what is the dog's name? Huh? What is, what is the dog's name? Dog? Yeah, that he's looking for. Oh, Pooh Bear? Pooh Bear. I loved hearing about Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear? Pooh Bear? Where is that dog? <laughs> I loved watching that every time. Ah. Wow, that was fun. Yeah. Um, and the score was great, obviously. Shout out to John. Our uh, good buddy John Mazzari. Yeah. And That still blows me away that we know that. Guy. It's super cool. It always blows me away. Yeah. And it was really fun to walk through. I just I, I just wanted it to be a little bit more scary. Yeah. And I, obviously, I, I've seen the movie three times well, and then we talked about this last yeah. night like the reason I mean you gotta go into it knowing that this is like a like a comedy horror movie you know? yeah but at times it's very sadistic and you also brought up the fact like I wish they would have shown more of those sadistic points but, yeah I mean I think they did a good yeah, job yeah I, I think I would have been really happy because my favorite scene in the movie is where in the, when they're in the pharmacy pharmacy oh yeah yeah <laughs> Tearing up the convenience store and everything. Yeah, it would been really fun to walk through. Um, I hope, my hopes is for next year they bring that maze back and like yeah. put it in the, the Stranger Things soundstage. Yeah, and then bring, obviously, Conzilla. They could bring the Conzilla from over in Orlando and then... And then they could make the maze a little bit longer. A little bit longer, a little bit bigger, and it gives them more of, kind of, yeah. 
more scenes that they didn't get to put in. Yeah, and I liked how you were kind of going through the movie. Yeah, it was cool. Which was super cool. No, the and door. The, and uh, I was about to say, uh, no, the door. It was always fun with Tony because he was always excited every I time. Was. I was excited going to that maze. I was and, like, yeah. how Sammy acts like going to Disneyland every time. That no, was how I that was, was acting. Disneyland. That was my Disneyland right there. Yeah. Because yeah, I'll, I'll get to it when we get when we get to that spot though. Yeah. Uh, my number. What do we have? Three. Three. It's us. Ooh. Doom. 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 <laughs> So we just like to piss each other off. Don't we just we? like to piss each other <laughs> off because I know that was gonna be his number one. I, I didn't put it on. I didn't put that to piss you off. Though. I legit like. I enjoyed this maze. It was very like. I was like, okay, this was a good horror movie. I'm excited to see how they can transform it into a maze. Yeah. And they freaking exceeded my expectations. Definitely. They really had a. They really did a good job. Um, every scene was in there. Every scene was fun to go through. Um, and it told the story from start to finish. I mean, you, you started into the, the mirror room, and then you went to the freaking house, yeah. and you saw the tethered, and then, you know, you went to the freaking, their friend's house, which you saw them tethered. Yeah, they played the, a lot of the iconic scenes, and then you went back to the fucking mirror house, and then you went to the freaking underground mm -hmm. place, which was really cool. Yeah. And then at the very end, it's the Hands Across America, which I thought was an amazing... <laughs> Amazing use of black walls right there, to be honest. Yeah. It was uh, it was awesome. Um, but anyway, I loved everything about this maze. I mean, it was great. It was fun. Um, and I liked this movie a lot, so that was that was good. I mean, it made me think of a lot after watching the movie, so bringing it to life was, was really cool. And oh, watching cool. Andy go through it was hilarious. <laughs> that was so good. That was great. I didn't even know that there was four characters in that last stream until I watched Andy go through it. Yeah, unless, so, they probably, unless they probably did that just for Andy. Maybe but, they did do it just for Andy. Or maybe they were very strategic in how they hit. Yeah. Because because it was a, a maze that usually had like a, a lot of people. Line. Yeah. So like they were probably hitting strategic. Hitting them, yeah. yeah hitting, hitting like them maybe straight. two would go at one point, and then like when the next people came in, like two the other two would go, oh, you know, yeah. just so they can trick so, people. You know? Yeah, so they can get people. Which um, would be the smart thing to do. Yeah. Am I in number two now? Or in two? Yeah, you're number two. Okay. My number two. I know where it is. Yeah, you know this. Um, for those of you who can't math, it'll be Frankenstein against the Wolfman. It's a good maze. It was a really good maze. I had, I really wish I had went the year pre prior to see Universal Monsters. See Universal Monsters. Yeah. I've heard nothing but good things about that maze. Yeah. Um, and I, I think this was really fun. And if that one was better than this one, like I've heard, I can only imagine how much that would have meant in my heart. To go through it, especially yeah. to see characters like Dracula. Oh, Dracula was legit. Dude. Yeah, but I, I thought Frankenstein's monster and the Wolfman were killer. Well, you should have saw the Invisible Man scene last year. Yeah, too. Invisible. I mean, I got to see I got to see a little bit of it on on the intro. Yeah, but that was legit. Yeah, but like it was so cool to be able to walk through that. I even like I think one of my favorite things was like when you're walking in there and you're going through like the Wolf. The first time you interact with the Wolfman, it's like it wasn't just like one of those jump scares. Like you. You have to like watch that character like transform. Transform, yeah. Um, and really just see it taking over, and like he would go at you, which was really cool. <gasps> I think we had a really cool night too, because we went on closing night, and like we were like yelling out like the last night and everything, and he like jumped up and like yeah. he was energetic with us, and he like knew yeah. that we were just we were, fans. We were one of the we were one of the first people to get to go through it. Yeah, we were just fans because we had queued up early. Yeah, so that was cool. It was really cool, and then obviously, anytime you were stuck between the both of them was really. cool. Cool. And they, they had that a couple times. Yeah, maze, which, which I really liked. Awesome. And I think one of my favorite parts about it is it was one of those mazes where it was kind of just like drop wall lights. It was very much like they had the actor in the room with you most yeah. of the time. It was really Which cool. was really cool. Obviously, like the movie room, they did that. But like I was like, because they weren't doing it so much throughout the maze, it made that moment a lot more. A lot better. Yeah, it was really cool. I yeah. liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and it was really creepy because like, even especially when you're going through like um, where they have all like the dead bodies and stuff, like it was creepy. They didn't even need an actor in those rooms. Yeah, it was because like you, you were the hair on your back was always sticking up. Like, like what's coming out? Now? What's coming out? Uh, is there going to be someone that jumps at me? Yep. And they didn't need to. And they they kept that tension alive, which was really cool. My number two is gonna go to Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. I fucking thought this maze was beautiful. It was the underdog of the event. I know a lot of people were talking shit about this when this yeah, was coming to the event. A lot of people were like, how are they going to do a comedy maze at Universal? It's yeah. so like stupid. I was like, they've done it before. Yeah. It may have not been as successful, but they've done it before. Yeah. And 
I, I knew I defended the Snades from the start. I mean, you can go back and watch our... our um, well, they got announced, right? Not, not only the announcement video, but you can go back and watch the freaking prediction video of what we thought, what we yeah. were looking forward to, yeah. most anticipated. And I put this, I think, on number two as well. What because uh, it was... I, I, For one, I love Ghostbusters. Yeah. Ghostbusters is such a great movie. And um, a lot like a lot of people's biggest complaint was like it wasn't going to be scary when yeah. like you got scenes like the librarian, you got like a lot of ghosts in there that like are actually pretty scary. Yeah. And they freaking they Used nailed them. it yeah. in the maze. Even though it's like you didn't get scared, it was just still fun to walk through. Effect wi effects wise it was amazing. Yeah, it had really good effects. I mean they had a really good effects. Yeah, there was a couple black walls, but I felt like it was it was necessary in a way because it transitioned to the next room where like it had some good effects in the next room. But they utilized a lot of scares with those black walls too. They really uh, had a lot of like good moments with yeah. just scares and a lot of the iconic scenes from like the library to seeing the library ghost and then going to the hotel was really I think the hotel in my opinion was probably like the best scene in that whole thing yeah and I didn't go to the black wall thing I don't mean to interject when you're talking but like I remember the first time I was going through it I was like oh we're doing black walls nothing's gonna happen and like twice they got man yeah I mean, those, it's like those drop scares. It's just, it was such a great maze. And then I, I think one of my also favorite scenes is like that one scene where like you're seeing all the head, like the head flow and like the body flow and everything. Yeah. Like black walls area. Towards the like, beginning, yeah. It was really fucking, it was a cool effect. Going through the library, going through the hotel. And then of course at the very end, I, I love the way our Stay Puft Marshmallow looked compared to Orlando's. Yeah. I mean, we, we at least had like half a torso, you know, and like yeah. looked really cool. And it smelled good in that room too. Yeah. Um, but seeing Slimer, I thought the smell was going to be a little bit stronger, but... It was okay. Yeah, seeing Slimer was really cool. Um, multiple times. Yeah, multiple times. He was like throughout the whole maze, but I think the best Slimer moment is when they freaking are gonna get him with the, the photon blast. Yeah, and he's doing the lights. And he's the lights. lights and everything. I was like, this is such a cool effect, and yeah. that was that. Um, and number one, KKSOS. Yeah. Killer clowns from outer space. Um, what can I say? I mean, I love this movie. I have the Funko Pop. I have. I have a mask from Killer Clowns. I have Fatso's mask. Um, we got to interview John Mazzari this season, and that really sparked my love even more for the movie. Yeah. Um, but it was something that I've watched since I was a little kid, and I had a very special connection with this movie. I mean, it's just like one of the first horror movies I actually fell in love with. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that's a lot of people don't realize that is the fact that like yeah, people always give me shit about liking this movie, and you know they always like make fun of it and everything. But I think. They don't know how much this movie means to me. That's still not going to stop me from making fun of you. No, I know that, but I'm just saying, like, it's just they don't know how much this movie means to me. Like, this was like the first movie, like horror movie, that I actually fell in love with, and I didn't feel scared, you know, against like, you watch a movie like this, and it's just like it's it's a, it's funny. I mean, for its time, the effects. It's were fucking, so cheesy. It's so cheesy, but for the time, like the effects are still fucking good. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I loved a lot of the the just the story in general and I would love to hopefully see a sequel to it one day we'll see hopefully I've been hearing a lot of rumors like the last couple years so uh, I mean I heard a rumor that you're not gonna lie I heard a bunch of rumors I heard that uh, Disney gave them a no go Disney don't have a fucking Disney doesn't own the rights to that shit I think it's, it's, it's MGM is it MGM? it's MGM I thought it was through Fox no it's MGM MGM owns that shit MGM owns the rights to that um I think they're still I think they're working on something We'll see. But going through the ship, going through a lot of the iconic scenes, seeing all the clowns. Like, every time I went through that maze and waved at the clowns or just got excited to see the clowns, like, they would interact back. And, like, they just knew how much people were fans of this movie. And all the characters in that maze were just super appreciative of all the roles yeah. they were playing. Like, like, every clown I saw, man, I freaking just was... Yeah, I was like a little kid. I really was. He was a little kid. It was like the fucking greatest thing ever. Like, going through that ship, watching that movie all these years, like, it was a dream come true. And then going to see a lot of the iconic scenes, like, from the puppet show to, like, going to, like, the freaking police station and everything. And going to the, the freaking the ending scene of us going to the carnival was fucking, it was fucking awesome, dude. And I just, I fell in love with that maze, man. And the last night we went, it was kind of bittersweet because we went through it, and that was that. You know, like it was it was sad for me because like I really had the time of my life in that maze, and I wish they would bring it back next year. We'll see. We'll see. Only time will tell. You're tired, aren't you? I'm always tired. Yeah, I'm not tired actually. I'm fine. Um, my number one. Do do do. Do do do. 
I got five on me. Uh, it will be up, obviously. Um, I was so excited when they announced it. I was so excited. And it was just so much fun. I only got to go through it twice, unfortunately. Which breaks my heart. But both times, fantastic. It was so much fun going through it. Well, my least favorite part was the line. That line was always long. It was. <laughs> it was always long. It really was. But I think it's for a good reason because they did a great job. Also, one of the times when we waited in line, we saw Lonzo Ball. Yeah. I didn't so, care. Well, I, didn't, I didn't care who. I don't care. Yeah. I know you didn't. But uh, but Robert, Robert did. Robert did. Robert was like, "That was Lonzo Ball," and I was like, <laughs> hey, "Lonzo, no, you suck at basketball." What was it? Wait, who were we with? We were with. Uh, it was me, you, Robert. Um, oh, we were with that. Robert. Yes, we were. I forgot we were with him. I, believe, I think that was it. Yeah, Robert was so excited. Um, but that's been, that's neither here nor there. That maze was great. Yeah, music was great. The sto the story progression was so cool. The scare actors in that maze were top notch. I really wish we got to be able to catch Lupita when she was there, because she was yeah. there the weekend prior that we got to go. Yeah, yeah. That would have been so cool. I would have fangirled so hard. Uh, that's Captain Phasma as well, um, which is super cool. Who? She's Captain Phasma, isn't she? Who? Uh, Lupita? No. Oh, that's what else? Captain Phasma from Star Wars. Yeah, who plays her? It's, it's a freaking chick from Game of Thrones. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I thought it was her. <laughs> I, I thought it was like, who? I thought she was. My bad. <laughs> She's in Black she, Panther. She is in Black Panther. That is, that is true. <laughs> I knew that. Because um, only a cool people are in Black Panther. But, uh, back back to walking through that maze, it just really brought the movie to life, and my, you know what would have made it even more better is if we got to see the fucking Jeremiah 1111 guy um, handing out items. Oh, for like how they did a Ghostbusters? Yeah, it would have been so cool. So cool. It would have been it would have been so cool. All right, moving on to scares. No, levels. wait, hold on. I'm Come not done. I'm not done. I know. Uh, you got to share your love for KKFOS. I'm going to share my love for us. And the ending scene, Hands Across America, great. Are you done? The car was really cool, too. Okay, now I'm done. The car effect that we <laughs> never got to fucking see. We got to see it on the last night. Like, one time. I got to go through it twice. The so one time I did it, and the second time I did. Fucking Four times I did it, and one time I did. And was it cool? No. You're 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 a hater, bro. That I, I was so disappointed. Like, yeah, I was just disappointed. Hey, bro, you're just mad because you couldn't shake that guy's hand. I fucking put us on number three. So how am I a hater? I'm hating, bro. All right, number five for scare zones is Christmas in Hell. Christmas in Hell. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Oh, okay. Was that your number five, too? No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, I mean, it was literally the exit of Holidays in Hell. Say no more. That was it. <laughs> Say no more. It's that's not, all, it's that's not, all it was. Not really a scare zone. It was just kind of an outdoor area of the maze. Yeah. My number five was Fallen Angels. I felt it was overshadowed by Spirits and Demons of the East. Um, and I think another reason why it was so low is because every time we did go, we got to go through early entry. Yeah. So we were only catching it on, on our way out, and most of the time it was... I mean, I caught it Closing for, the chainsaw chase out. I caught it for uh, opening scare money one time. But it was really cool. That one, that one, co one mo moment when we got them to do... The, they did the too sweet thing. Yeah. It was really cool. Too sweet. Number, number four. four. Uh, my number four is Spirits and Demons of the East. It's like sick tunnel. Spirits and Demons of the East for me was <laughs> number four. Um, I I think it's because I had such high expectations of what it was going to be. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realize how much it was going to intermingle with Fallen Angels. And every like the, the scare actors, I think, in both were very good, given their circumstances. Mm -hmm. But because I was so immersed in what Knots is providing in terms of scare zones and how... Like, they were just, like, when you're in a zone, you're in that zone. Yeah. Uh, both of those zones, you're kind of just walking down the street, and there happens to be dudes with chainsaws and <laughs> some Japanese-looking-esque people. I feel like when 
with not or Universal though, they don't have nearly as much space as Knox did. Well, no, and I get that. I get given their circumstances, they do a great job. Yeah. Um, I think because of like what I saw at Midsummer Scream, I was like, oh my god, Spirits and Demons of the East is going to be literally terrifying. And I kind of went through it, and I was kind of like, okay, like cool. They did the fan effect. They had the four-legged stilt walker, but that four-legged stilt walker wasn't as terrifying as I saw it on the screen to me. It looked about the same to me. Well, the, the, the character perception looked the same, but I had an artificial... I had an idea that HHN was literally going to make me poop my pants and not want to be there. He still says poop. That's cute. I don't cuss. <laughs> number four for me is going to go to Toxic Tunnel, and the only reason it's at number four and not five is because the sole purpose of them playing punk and rockabilly music as you're going through. Yeah. And we had an amazing experience twice going, or at least I did, twice going through it of uh, it starting. Yeah, we did it yeah, both times. I, we were you there for both of them? Yeah. We were there unknowingly, and it started, which was really cool. And then we actually got the footage of it, which was really cool. And, like, at the second time we, we went to wait for that footage, like, the staff was looking at us like, you guys okay? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, we're just waiting for something. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same thing usually, though, and... I think the only thing that saved it for me again was the punk and the rock of the that they were playing. Yeah. Number three goes to Fallen Angels for me, and that's due to the purpose that if you went on the 80s night, that was where they were playing all the metal. Yeah. Um, and they had a lot of good soundtrack, but I love the, the chainsaw guys, and, and I love the whole uniform that they were wearing. They look like kind of bikers in a way. Yeah. With their like little uniforms and stuff, but yeah, they, 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 those guys are pretty cool. Um, but if you went every night, it was usually like EDM and stuff like that, so. Yeah. My number three will be Holidays in Hell. Um, it was... You like Toxic Tone that much, huh? I did. Wow. Um, I thought it was just... Like, it was just an extension of the maze. Yeah. Um, and given their circumstances, I think they, they did okay with what they had. But I just thought it did a little bit more than the other ones. Only it's, slightly. You could tell it was just pulled out every night because yeah. that area gets blocked off. Yeah. Except during the day, but... Number two? Number two is Toxic Tunnel. The music was cool. I like the characters. I feel like the characters there were really good. Like, not saying the other ones were bad. I just think those ones were kind of a level above. Because every time we went through them, they were running up and down that tunnel. Yeah. They were hitting their lefts. They were hitting their rights. Um, and they were even in... Like, they got in our faces. Like, typically, people kind of just like, okay, like, cool. Like, we're not going to really try on them. Yeah. But every sure. time we went through there, like there was people like running at us with their fucking wrenches and stuff, which was cool. I like we had a great time rocking out in there. Yeah, it's very true. Number two for me is gonna go to Spirits and Demons of the East, and I just I did it for the sole purpose of like I love the costumes. Yeah, and I loved. Um, we had a couple character interactions with some of the characters, um, but I it was mostly just the sole purpose of the design of the scare zone and the costumes that I love so much. Mm -hmm. um, that was probably my favorite. Um, as far as characters go, some of them are really interesting to look at. And really cool. Number one, I can speak for the both of us. All oh. of these, oh, man. <laughs> that scare zone was almost like a mini maze, but it yeah. was beautiful, and it holds a place in my heart because that's where I want to try not to get scare challenge. <laughs> um, it was a sudden death round, and we were like, "Fuck it, we don't want to go through another maze. Let's just do all Hall of Evil." Yeah, and I won. And now I am the current champion for yeah. 2019, going into 2020. Yeah. I think I will start bringing that to conventions. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not carrying it, though. You get tired. I'm not. I'm going to buy the extender, and I'll put it around my waist. But, uh, yeah, I loved I loved A Hall of Evil, though. I mean, it just was beautiful from start to finish. I had a little bit of everything in that maze, yeah. and I can't wait to see what they turn that into next year. Yeah, I loved All Hallows Evil as well. I only got to go through it twice. Twice, probably. But it was really cool to walk through. Like you said, it was kind of like a mini maze. But it was cool to just go through it. Yeah. Going around. You didn't know where the scariest were going to be. Um, and it, like, it was just a more, more immersive than the rest of the event mm -hmm. um, because of where it was on the back lot. I just really loved the back lot in general. The back lot was so cool. Yeah. But overall, the event was not too bad this year, actually. Um, I can't speak about years prior, but yeah. Years prior was 
it was okay. But, like, outside of the three mazes, you know, Walking Dead, uh, Stranger Things, and House, like, the rest of the event was really good. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I can't wait to see what they bring to the table next year. Yeah. Um, so, thank you guys for watching our HHN 2019 review. Uh, be sure to turn in next week for uh, LA Haunted Hayride. Hayride. And yep. then, uh, I think maybe I'll throw up the Queen Mary one the same week. I'm not sure yet. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And uh, be sure to follow us on social media. What's our Twitter, Sammy? Knights of Horror. And our Instagram is... The Knights of Horror. Make sure to check us out on Patreon. We have a link in the description from tiers to... One dollar to twenty dollars. And we have a lot of exclusive stuff you can get in each tier. So yeah. be sure to do that. But like always, a subscribe, a like, and a comment. And a what, Sammy? And a turning on of the bell notification is always enough for us. So thank you so much for watching this. My name is Thomas. Uh, my name is Host Play. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you're going with. <laughs> and we'll see you guys on the next on video. <laughs>